like to run the ball and play action. You can't do that if you're behind. And the Baltimore Ravens last week had the Saints in their house, just like the Falcons will this week. And if Michael Turner can run it in the same amount of success that Ray Rice ran, or coming out of the backfield, that's trouble for the Saints, because Ray Rice from Rutgers was running and receiving for the Ravens. He took the uh, Saints and pinned their ears back. The Saints tried to come back, but in the end, Haloti and Utah would be the with the pick to wrap things up and come up with a result that none of our experts on NFL game day morning predicted last week. The zero of you guys took the Baltimore Ravens, who are a winning in situation in Cleveland, away from wrapping up. Hey, you guys are us. Uh, I don't know. Everybody here in the center. They could wrap things up. Jets and Ravens are winning in, so the wild cards could be wrapped up, and uh, just divisions in the South and the uh, and the North still up for grabs in West. Just lots going on. Bottom line is the Ravens. Where do they rank in the AFC, Deion Sanders? I think they're the second best team in the AFC. I think they're the only other team besides the San Diego Chargers, if they get in, that can actually beat the New England Patriots. I like the balance they have offensively passing the ball. In addition of Anquan Bowling is unbelievable with Ray Rice running from Rutgers. I think this team can challenge in the AFC. I have to agree with you, Prime. I think they're the second best team in the AFC. And even more than that, they have a veteran ball club. And when you have a veteran ball club, that understand where they're and I got some numbers for you. Joe Flacco, the last 11 weeks, there's only Tom Brady and Mike Vick we're talking about. This young man has 20 and 2. That's 20 touchdowns and 2 interceptions in the last 11 weeks. And when your quarterback is playing like that, what'd you say? They went in New England last time. Yeah. 33 to 14, and Ray Rice from Rutgers went around off of the first lead for 83 yards. And, oh, it kept going. So I look at this Baltimore team, and they have the know-how and the veterans to go. I like them. First, they have to go. They're not in yet. And I stand corrected. You, Deion Sanders, predicted the Ravens to win last week. Yes, I did. That is a true. But I wasn't on the yeah, morning show last week. week. Yeah, no, no, I wasn't on the morning show last week, so you were correct. You were at the Waffle House at this point. No, no, no.